Lawrence Burdell, President of the High Federation of Soil and Water Districts. I'm in Columbus today here at Fountain Square, Department of Natural Resources. We're having a meeting pertaining to water quality credit trading. I think this is a great opportunity for soil and water districts to be the go-between between property owners and the companies today, particularly the power companies that are having difficulty meeting the clean water standards. And if they are going to meet these standards, they're going to have to spend a tremendous amount of money. Our electric bills will probably have to go up. But if they can find a cheaper way to obtain the same or even better water quality by helping property owners, particularly farmers, to install new practices to prevent the nutrients and pollutants from getting in the water. That will in turn help the landowner to improve their operation. When our nutrients leave the farm, we have to some way buy them back. So we don't want them to leave. We're wanting to keep them on the land. They're particularly today talking about nitrogen and phosphorus in the water. These are both things that we need for plants to grow. We typically buy these as commercial fertilizer. So if we can install practices that will keep these on the land, keep them out of the water, it will be benefiting us and it will also be benefiting the power companies and society in general. We're encouraged today that the leaders of this program here today think soil and water districts are a vital part in all of this. They think we have a good reputation and uh, they, they feel like that if we all work together, we can have win-win situations, maybe as many as three wins where everybody is benefiting by cooperating. Today we're talking about a, a large scale, including eight states that has water going into the Ohio River, and this could even have an impact then on the water in the Gulf and the dead zone that we have there.